it's Thai Bug and I'm back on the kitchen floor. Some of you know what that means, but for those of you who don't, that means I'm doing another stretching video. So a couple months ago, this was right before I took my break, somebody requested that I do a arch flexibility video. And at first I agreed right away, but then I realized I don't do anything for my arches. Like I don't have a stretching routine or anything, but then I looked up arch routine, like arch stretches, and I realized I've been doing those my entire life without realizing it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do, and then I'll show you some actual stretches, and then I'll just like combine them so you guys can get the best of both worlds. So I am still recovering from my uh, injury that put me on crutches, but I'm not on crutches anymore, so we're getting closer to baseline. So I will try my best to show you guys everything to the best of my ability. But yes, that's what we're doing today. Arch flexibility. Let's start up, start on the ground as usual. I'm gonna go all the way up against my fridge and I'm gonna use this band. I think I got this from PT a while ago. And what you're gonna wanna do is put it around the top part of your foot and stretch it, or don't stretch it. I don't know. Put it at the top part of your foot I'll go like this so you can see better. And then you're going to want to point and then come back. They described it on the website like a sickle and pointed, but I don't know what sickle really means other than it's not what you're supposed to do when you're in ballet. But this is the stretch I've seen most people do whenever I look up stretch flexibility videos stretch flex i mean arch flexibility videos let's just go like that i guess maybe don't point because then it'll snap back at you but that is the first stretch this is a stretch i've never done before if you can tell this was meant for something else for my pt but we're going to repurpose it because this is the same type of band that they use. And each band has a different level of stretchiness. I actually don't know where you can get these, but this is a TheraBand. I'll look up and see if you can get it on Amazon. But look at that arch. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I can't find that leg. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that, because I don't actually do that. Okay, another one. Is it on the ground? I guess we can do this one on the ground. So I'm wearing socks because there are some interesting people on the internet. But another one you do is, you see my toes wiggling around in here? You're going to want to spread your toes out. So there are gaps between my toes here. And then what they called it on the website is piano toes, where you just wiggle them around. I do this literally all the time when I'm just watching TV, when I'm just sitting around doing homework, or when I'm waiting to do something, I just wiggle my toes. And apparently that's supposed to help your arches. I had no uh, conscious thought when I did that, that it helped my arches, but apparently it does. It's just wiggling your toes and spreading them out. It's like a webbed foot. I wonder if it looks different on the side view. Not really. But that's the second stretch is piano toes. They're all stretched out and wiggle them around. By the way, I have otters on my feet. Cute. Okay. So I think that's it for sitting down. I wanted to sit down for as long as possible, but I think we have to stand up now. So the next one, I'm going to use these balls. You can use just a tennis ball. People recommend a lacrosse ball, but I don't know anyone who plays lacrosse or has a lacrosse ball just lying around. It's kind of like a, this is all the way through. It's a therapy ball. And... It's all, it's not hollow, but you can probably just use a tennis ball. 
And what you're going to want to do, I'm going to stand up, so bye, say bye to my face. Bye, face. And you're going to put it right at the base of your arch, and you're just going to roll it around your foot. And it's going to kind of feel like you have gravel in your foot. I call them crumblies, but that's going to just relax everything in there and make everything feel a-okay. And I've seen that it helps with my arches. Kind of doing all of this out of order, but once you get all the information down, then you can do it in whatever order you feel more comfortable doing it in. And you just want to do this as long as you can. There's no really time limit. And remember, never pain, only discomfort. Okay, the next uh, thing I do is I... <laughs> This started because of Taekwondo. I started doing this because of Taekwondo. Because there's a kick where you want your foot to have this hit first. And I used to point my foot when I kicked. So I would always just stand or sit like this with my foot like this so I could practice getting this the way it needed to be. And that is how I got this arch. So I would just stand like this. Or I would sit like this and I would lean on it. It stretched my toes, it built up my arch. But yeah, I don't really know what I was doing when I was doing this other than I wanted my foot to hit like that when I did my front kick. So that's why I started doing that and that's how I got these really high arches because I would do this literally all the time and I would start walking like this. Just, oh, my leg almost gave out. Just walking like that. But yeah, that's one. So the final one is your, something my ballet teacher taught me. So you're going to want a towel. You're going to put that on the ground. Just any towel. And hopefully you guys can see this. But what you want to do is you want to scrunch up your toes, but leave your heel and stuff on the ground. So this will help your arch kind of get that boop, lift up and then as soon as you like kind of figure out how to do this then you can do it without the towel you're just scrunching your toes up but keeping your foot as flat as possible as you can tell my toes have a lot of uh, movability and make sure you always do everything on both sides so one of your feet doesn't have better arches than the other and then it looks weird while you're doing stuff. Those are all the arch flexibility uh, stretches I do. I don't really do the uh, one with the band because I feel like it's hard to do stuff where you need equipment. But with the ball and the towel, that's all stuff that's pretty easy and everyone has. So yeah, that is everything. I hope that helps you guys work on your arch flexibility. I know not a lot of people can go to ballet classes right now because of the situation in the world, but I do encourage you guys to check out YouTube videos and keep working on your uh, flexibility and your strength so that when you can go to ballet classes, you're all good to go. So. Make sure to leave a comment and a like down below. It helps me figure out what videos you guys like and what type of content to keep creating. Uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week or the week after. But I've been pretty consistent weekly so far. So, yeah. Hope you guys are healthy and safe. Love you. Bye.